hello everyone welcome back to bj tech channel in today's video i want to teach you guys how you can set up your peer processing on your laptop without further ado let's get started so firstly go to your peer processing account you will you will uh you will log in your details if you haven't created account just go to the website peersubscribeprozy.com once you you uh once you're on the website you will create an account once you once you create an account just go to the uh let's say this is the home page so uh, let the this thing load so this is the home page once you create an account you understand once you create an account you just this is the home page so all you have to do is click your click where this email is is your email click it and click on personal center so once you click on this personal center I want, I want to show you guys in some quick something when you click on this personal center click on this subscribe policy so once you're on this subscribe policy this is where you redeem your cd key if you want the cd key just dm me and get it it's very cheap if you're buying it on the site it's cost so once you redeem the cd key it's this cd key that will give you this ips you can see i have six, just six ips left so so once you are here now if you want to use it for your laptop you just download this you click it you click the version the window version once you click it once you click it it is it will show that it download this thing here once you down, download it completely just install it if you want it for android mac nanos and ios it's available on the website once you are done with this you go to your um the prosy the main prosy app that you downloaded this is it so you open it so once you open it click on yes once you are here so once you are here now i can see my ips i can refresh so once you are on this page on this page here let's go to prosy configuration you 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 seem directed you to this main page like this now this is where you, you select your um, IP. So you can select the country. I selected US. I select Texas as a state. I select um, Bantoville as a city. You can select your own distinct. The ISP. I select um, Frontier Communication. The ISP can select mobile. You can see the zip. If you don't want to select it, they will, they will give you um, available ones. You see, see the available ones once I search it. So, so once you are here now, what you have to do is just click on um, the right click. Once you right click, let me go to here. You right click. Once you right click, you see forward port to prosy. Once you see port forward port to prosy, all you have to do is just click on anyone here. Once you click it, it will direct you to this page. Just note that this our IPS hasn't deducted because once we are connected successfully, it will. Deduct deducted as it is normal deduction of the IPS so once it doesn't deduct it doesn't know that you haven't connected so all you have to do is just click on this start extraction once you click on this start extraction we will wait and you see it now our IPS has deducted so you can see it now we are we are here it has been deducted so once you are here now all you have to do is go back click on today list so Today list now, the one I selected now is this. So all you have to do is just right click again and click on forward port to close again. Then select anyone. Let's select this. So once it was successfully, you understand. All you have to do is click on this um port forward list. So once you click on this port forward list, you see you see the um the isp that we we forward now see it here this is it this is the one that we forward you can see it now this is the one that we forward that we forwarded now on to date list so once you see, once you see this you can see it now is this green check mark make sure you you check for the one that i forwarded on to date list so once you have got this all you have to do is go to your chrome go to your chrome just minimize this so you go to your chrome web store you go to your web store on your chrome browser so chrome web store let's check chrome 
Chrome Web Store. So Chrome Web Store. That's what you search. Once you search it, just click it. Once you click it, to direct it to this extension page. All you have to do is um, the extension you are looking for is you, know, you select extension here. Once you select extension, so we search the name of the extension you want to use. It is called Switch Switch um, Omega. So Switch Omega. That is what we are looking for. Follow this process so that you get positive output. So once you select it, let's search it. Okay. Enter. Once you search it, this is the the this second one that I want to use. I already install my on my uh, on my extension. So if you have install yours, you just click on this. You see where you, you will add it. So okay, like this now. You just click on Add to Chrome. Okay, we add extension. So once it is added, you will see it to show installed. See, it has been added. So it has been added. All you have to do is um, to to use it. You just click on this your extension button here. You can see it here. This is it. Understand? You can pin it. So I already pin it here. So if I want to use it, I'll just click it. Once I click it, it will show me the page. So once you are here now, just go back to this PR this thing back. You understand? So we we'll copy the we we'll copy the um the port. This is it. We we'll copy it. This is it. You just click on copy here. Once you click on copy, you we'll go back to this page. Let's click on the extension back and choose it. Once you choose it, all you have to do is just select here subscribe, which is in around there. So you just paste it here. The one that we we'll copy, you just paste it. Once you paste it, then let's click on connect. Let's see what it is show. So let's see our location. Like it is, okay, you can see now it has connected. It has been connected. You can see United Fleet. So to check whether we have, we have been connected successfully. So you can see the place that I click. I click here. So to connect to see whether you have connected so the all you have to do is um so let's open another browser. I search for war.net war.net so war.net we just enter it and check the so let's check our IP let's check our IP and see whether we are connected successfully to United States so once you are connected successfully that means our our pose is working so let's wait for it to load <laughs> Let's wait for it to load. You can see my IP now. It's in United States. You can see 90% this guy. So, so you guys should see that you are connected successfully to the IP to using your Pierre um IPS. So that is that on that. So with th if you guys, if you guys enjoyed this video so far, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. I'm dropping more on how to use it successfully on laptop. So if you don't do, if you know that this is the video you don't want to miss, please like and share this video to your loved ones and make sure you are joining our telegram. Stay tuned for more tech insights. Like, share, and subscribe.